Here are the things that a prophetess told Ojuku that put an end to the Biafran War. The prophetess was named Agnes Oko, is popularly known as Odozi Obodi. She was a native of Onitsha. Prophetess Odozi Obodi was famous for her special spiritual power, which made her famous in the eastern part of Nigeria. She was the founder of the Christ Holy Church of Nigeria. Prophetess Odozi Obodi was famous for her ability to give prophecies on things of the future. One greatest prophecy was the one she declared in 1965 about Nigerian being in a state of war, which would cause a hike in food item prices. Many people didn't believe the prophecy. The manifestation of her prophecy was the Nigerian Civil War. The second mind-blowing prophecy by prophetess Odozi Obudi was about the end of Nigerian Civil War. After two and a half years of the war, in October 1969, she prophesied that the war will end after December 1969. Her prophecy was not accepted by many people because at the time, Enugu, Okigwe, Aba, and any settlement of eastern Nigeria was a war zone. Many soldiers described the prophecy as a false prophecy. As a result of this, many members of Prophetess Obuzi Obodo Church were killed. As prophesied by the prophetess, on December 23rd, 19. 69. The Nigerian army launched a huge attack on the Biafran soldiers, which later split and crippled the Biafran army at the end of the year. In January 1970, Ojuku visited the prophetess to inquire about the Biafran war. The prophetess told Ojuku to leave the country. Within four days, Ojuku left the country to hide at Ivory Coast. Truly, on January 9, 1970, the Biafran soldiers lost their stronghold at Oweri, and this signified the end of the war. In 1985, Prophetess Agnes Oko retired from participant ministry and she died on March 10, 1995, at age 19. Thank you for listening to this news. Hmm. Now I can get the picture. Now I can get the picture. For those people that are claiming and saying what they don't know about Ojuku's movement to Ivory Coast, this is the reasons you can see. Ujuku never intentionally left to Ivory Coast. He left because of the information given to him by the prophetess, which she claimed would be the, uh, the only solution to the end of the war. It was actually the prophetess that advised Ujuku to leave the Ivory Coast. So the prophetess have seen it that Ojuku is the pillar that is still holding the wall. So if only he can leave the country, the war will come to an end. And now as it is, Ojuku obeyed the prophetess, and behold, it came to pass. The moment he left, the war subsided, and everywhere became calm. So, you can say, oh my God, Nigeria is wicked. Nigeria is wicked. 
They don't want us to do history. They don't want us to get informed in any way. They don't want us to understand the nitty-gritty of what actually led to the war. They have been hiding all this, all this while from us, not wanting us to know the truth. Thank God for internet today and thank God for self-development. That is like, that's why curiosity is very good. Curiosity is very, very good. If you are a curious type and you are a type that is very, very strong in sourcing information, I tell you, the sky will be your limit. Look at the information one has just gotten now. So if you are a type that is always with those saying what they don't know concerning Ojuku and how he flied to Ivory Coast, this is the information and this is why he flied to Ivory Coast. This is the information and this is the reason behind his movement to Ivory Coast. This is the information and this is what actually brought the war to an end. It was the movement of Ojuku to Ivory Coast that brought the war to an end. If Ojuku hasn't listened to the, to, the, to, the, to the prophetess, the war would have continued. You see? That is the truth. You see what the truth is? You see what the truth is? So, my dear viewers, you can now see what actually brought the war to an end. You cannot see what actually brought the war to an end and made us to be free from the war. So many people have said all that they have in their mouths. So many people have criticized, have said all sorts of things. But to God be the glory that Ojuku, Ojuku was able to speak it out, to spit it out, to spit out what he knows about the war. This is the lady. This is the lady that made the war to subside. She is the one. So, when we are saying that what actually led to to the peace during the war then we should be mentioning the prophetess Odozi Obodo and we should be mentioning the reason and the secrets behind the uh, the subsiding of the war my dear viewers I use this medium to reach out to you to please urge you for for future sake um get your 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 friends connected so that they too can enjoy the lasting information that we get from this um from this channel because it is for all and not just for one okay so please, if you're new on this channel, do me free to click on the red subscribe buttons as well as the bell buttons to get updated whenever we upload any new videos. Thank you.